my channel and of course welcome back to my kitchen so today's video I will be showing you how to make your bread with your almond flour okay and of course this recipe is keto friendly of course like I said it's keto compliant the advantages with this recipe is that you do it doesn't contain carbohydrate it's gluten free and of course you don't need yeast for this recipe okay so if you want to know how I make the bread which you can make in the comfort of your own home you really don't need to go to the store to buy bread and guess what it takes less than 10 minutes super 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 quick if you want to know how I make this um, recipe with this almond bread I'd like you to sit back and watch this video all the ingredients you need are the ingredients you have right there on the table they are predominantly organic things. So the first one is the almond flour. This was gotten from Walmart, it's about $11, pretty expensive. Or the other one from Costco, which was way cheaper. So if you have a warehouse membership, I would advise you to get um, the cheaper option. And the next thing we have here is a grounded chai seed. We want the very smooth one, so it blends well with your mix. And of course, your organic honey, your salt. If you have the sea salt, that also works and we have a baking soda then we have a uh, um, healthy oil i'm using the almond oil you can use a coconut oil or any healthy oil you have in the house and we have the organic apple cider vinegar which will react with the baking soda for it to rise because we're not using any yeast and we have our cooking spray that will help our baking pan to help to detach from the bread once the bread is fully baked and of course we have our organic eggs we want to keep things pretty healthy that's why i'm going for mostly organic items and we have our bowl the bowl will help to break the, the eggs inside of the bowl and of course we have our, our measuring spoons and a measuring bowl and also the baking pan so these are all the ingredients we have right now that we'll be using and of course we have uh um we can use a um, what's it called a blender or a food processor for that we're using our food processor for this process. We're mis mis mixing all the dry ingredients first. So it's a two and a half cups of the almond flour. I'm using that first one from Walmart because that's the one that has already been opened. So I want to exhaust it before I move on to the one I said I got from the, warehouse, the wholesale warehouse. And two and a half cups, put that in first. Okay, don't level the cups too much so it doesn't get too dense. And once that has been done, then we'll go ahead and put in half cup of the grounded chai seed inside your mix and you proceed to put half a cup or rather <laughs> a teaspoon of the baking soda. We put our salt to taste, probably a teaspoon to that and then we go ahead and mix the other dry ingredients together. So that's the first things we'll do before we move on to the wet ingredients. So just for a few seconds, we will do that. Moving on to the wet ingredients, now we're done with the dry one. We're going to break five eggs into our bowl and have it mixed or whisked and then you proceed to put that in the blender. Five eggs, so that for your two and a half cups of almond flour, you're using five eggs. And also you add a teaspoon of your oil. The reason we're putting the oil before the honey is that the honey will stick to the cup if you put that first I don't know if I'm making sense so just watch what I'm doing so a teaspoon of oil directly into your mix that will help your teaspoon to become a little bit greasy so that when you put in the teaspoon of your honey it slides nicely if you can watch from the video what I'm just doing okay it will slide, it will slide nicely out of the teaspoon okay you can see how it how it, how it happened and once that is done, put a teaspoon of your apple so cider vinegar as well. So we have our five eggs that have been in, put in a bowl, nicely mixed, and then we put it in the food processor so we can all blend or rather mix every ingredients together. This is so easy, like it's so, so, so easy. Like I told you, less than 10 minutes, you're done. So once that is done, I'll go ahead and turn on my oven on 350 degrees um, Fahrenheit and yeah for 35 minutes so it's not so long at all 
and i'm using the vanilla extract i haven't used this before i just wanted to add a little taste on more like an experiment to see how it's going to taste that's why i use the vanilla extract so maybe make so much difference so i'm not sure if i'll be using it next time but however you can do whatever you want to do you can add nuts into into it at this point in time <laughs> all right so now you can see i'm mixing everything together super 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 easy mix it together and yeah just get it out get the mix out of your food processor your your mixer whatever now i'm greasing the pan this step is very very important if you don't have a cooking spray you can use a baking paper the cooking spray baking paper whatever but whatever will help your bread you know detach from the pan easiest is what you need to use you don't want to finish baking at that point trying you're struggling to get the bread out of the baking pan okay now you can see how i'm gently taking out whatever i need to take out and then you know i'll then um, take out the mix from the food processor and i'll put it pretty nicely in the baking pan okay watch what i'm doing right there that's all you need and this particular one will take me for the next one week i think because you know i cut it into sliced bread okay after i have put it in the baking pan remember to make your mix like half of your baking in the baking pan because you don't want it too much because the mix actually rises so much and make sure the level is like half of whatever baking si baking pan you're using whatever the size is you're using okay so i already went ahead and preheat my oven for 30, uh, 350 degree fahrenheit so that's me putting the baking i uh the mix in the oven right now like i said it's going to sit there for 35 minutes and i'm just showing you what it looks like uh, like so about 20 or 25 minutes into its baking process right, and so guys we have our almond bread ready you see how nice it looks really nice and brown and it's quite fluffy yeah like i told you it takes the mix mixing process takes about 10 minutes or less Okay, the longest of the process is when it's being baked in the oven for 35 minutes under a 350 degree Fahrenheit temperature. I so love this. This will take me for about a week and yeah. So guys, if you have watched till this point, thank you so much and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down or send me a message, a DM on my Instagram or just leave a message, whatever cooking recipe you might want to see or whatever, whatever thing you like to see on my channel. So thank you for sticking around today. And until next time that I come your way, remember to make it a great week. Bye guys.